You are welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing how to solve indicial or exponential equations. So we'll start right away with an example. And the first example says given that 1 over 8 raised to the power of 2 minus 3y equal to 2 raised to the power of y plus 2. We want to find the value of y that will make those two expressions equal. So let's see how to do that. We will apply what is called the negative index law to the left hand side. For example, 1 over 8 raised to power 2 by negative index law is the same thing as 8 raised to power minus 2. So apply it now. So it becomes 8 raised to the power of minus 2 minus 3y which is equal to the left hand, uh, right hand side which is 2 raised to the power of y plus 2. Now let's multiply out. Let's use minus to multiply out. So I have minus 2 plus 3y is equal to 2 raised to the power of y plus 2. Now we are going to write 8 in index form which is 2 raised to the power of 3. Then we open our bracket minus 2 plus 3y is equal to 2 raised to the power of y plus 2. Now since we have succeeded in making the base equal, we will now equate the powers. So we have 3 into minus 2 plus 3y equals to y plus 2. We open the bracket. Now we collect like terms. 9y minus y equals to 2 plus 6. So 8y is equal to 8. We divide both sides by 8 and our y is 1. Okay, so let's move ahead to see another example, example 2. Solve the exponential equation 3 raised to the power of 2x minus 9 equal to 0. So solution, the first thing we need to do here is that we are going to add 9 to both sides of the equation. So it becomes 3 raised to the power 2x equals to 9. Now we will now write 9 in index form. And 9 in index form is 3 raised to the power of 2. So since the base are equal, we will now go ahead and equate the power. So 2x is equals to 2. The Bible side by 2x is 1. Okay. Let's see another example. So if... 9 raised to the power 2x minus 1 equals to 81 raised to the power x minus 2 all over 3 raised to the power x. We are asked to find x. So we want to find the value of x that will make it equal. So we we'll just cross multiply first. So we have 9 raised to the power 2x minus 1 times 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 81 raised to the power of x minus 2. Now we are going to write 9 and 81 in index form. So 9 is 3 raised to the power 2. So the other power there before, which is 2x minus 1, yes. Now times 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 81 is 3 raised to the power of 4. So 3 raised to the power of 4. Now 4 will be multiplying the other power there, which is x minus 2. So okay, let's open up the powers now. So 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus 2 is minus 2 times 3 raised to the power of x, which is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Now we are going to apply the law of indices to the left hand side. So since the base are equal, we pick one and we add the powers. Okay. So equal to 3 raised to the power 4x minus 8. Now since we have succeeded in making the base equal, we now equate the power. So 4x plus s is 5x minus 2 equals to 4x minus 8. We collect like terms and we simplify. And our x is minus 6. So I have some assessment question right here for you. I expect that you solve everything correctly. Having gone through the three examples. One after the other. Okay. So I have the number 1 there. And number 2. So make sure you solve everything correctly. Thank you.